Hi, welcome to Donsky Tech. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can create your own application that will display your sensor reading in a graphical manner using charts. As you can see, I have here a simple setup of an ES P32 development module connected to a light-dependent resistor or a photoresistor. The sensor readings are being sent almost real-time through web sockets and is displayed in our application as a line graph. As you can see, our line chart goes up and down depending on the amount of light that the LDR is receiving. Values are being displayed real-time, so if your Internet of Things applications needs this real-time functionality, then I highly suggest that you use web sockets. If you are excited to know how I did this, then let's get started. So, the following is our high-level system design of our WebSocket server that will handle the sensor reads and display. There are actually three major components in our system. One is the ESP32 and the module and the plus the the sensor. The other one is the WebSocket server and the third one is our dashboard application. The ESP32 dev module sensor reads the values from our light dependent resistor or photoresistor and then send it back into our WebSocket server using this particular path which is the slash send sensor data. The WebSocket server at the same at the same time serves as the back end of our application. It has actually two primary purpose and the first one is to retrieve the sensor read and the second one is to send those sensor reads to all clients connected to our WebSocket server. In our case here, the dashboard application connects to our WebSocket server. The WebSocket server is built using the Node.js JavaScript runtime. The dashboard application at the same time is the one that displays the sensor read being sent by the WebSocket server using a graph on a near real-time basis. This will serve as the front end of our application and is built using the react.js application. Okay, so the next question is how do we send data to our web server? There, apart from the WebSocket protocol, there are actually other protocols that you can use in sending your data. The first one could be the REST API interface. The second one is the MQTT or the MQ telemetry transport. And the last one is what the subject of this post, which is the web sockets. In a different post, I'll be creating uh, the same application, but this time I'll be using MQTT. So watch out for that particular post. The code for the web socket server and the dashboard application, including the ESP32 web socket client, are in the links below. And the complete write up of my page is, is in this particular link. I have fairly documented the code and explained it further in the anchor. In the accompanying write-up so if you would go into my github account you would see that both the dashboard application and the WebSocket server is in this link and the other one which is the ESP32 WebSocket client is in this link you can go into the source code and then just follow through with the the file and then as you can see I have fairly document documented each part of the application so that you will be able to follow through with everything. If there is any chance that you don't understand anything, then just go to the, the write-up here and just follow through with everything. Or you can hit me in my any of my social media channels so that you could ask some questions re related to the project. So in this video, I have shown how you can display your sensor data real-time using WebSockets. If you like this video, then please continue to support my page by subscribing to, to my channel and sharing it with your friends. Until then, happy exploring!